Hey guys, this is Troy with Mainstream Linux, and today we're going to be looking at Ubuntu Budgie 20.10 Groovy Grill. Okay, in my last video we took a look at Ubuntu 20.10 Groovy Gorilla. This video we're going to be going over Budgie and let me tell you something, I first booted into this just a while ago, I'm on a virtual machine and this is a beautiful distro. It is gorgeous. First of all, I already activated a dark mode for it. Um, I do like the light mode. Uh, the light mode is is definitely beautiful but with my eyesight I have to go with a little bit of darker accents so everything's not as blinding to me but we're gonna look at some of the uh, information at it uh, information right here um, we're on Ubuntu budgie um, I've got four gigabytes of memory assigned to it I'm on Intel Core i5 I've assigned it four processors 64-bit um, version of course and Let's see, we've got networking, Bluetooth, it's got some beautiful backgrounds, uh, I mean out of the box, it is gorgeous, let's see, what does it look like, oh my, yes, these got definitely have some beautiful wallpapers out of the box, it's just the, the little things that they pay attention to, but anyway, we'll keep on going, uh, notifications, you can assign notifications to specific apps, search online accounts this is another place that when you zip on in here and put your Google account information in it will go right into your file manager you'll be able to go over to your file manager right there look in here and your Google account will be listed sharing Thunderbolt sound power are basic things that we're gonna have with Ubuntu uh, we're gonna have the updated kernel so let me get to it uh, Linux kernel version 5.8 uh, genome 3.38 applications uh, latest version of LibreOffice uh, Grub2 is now used to boot the ISO both in legacy and UEFI mode Ubuntu budgie maintain packages the slick greeter that pops up when you first get into the system login windows preferences desktop folder arc theme so Additional, all the packages are now ARM64 available. This is mean you can desktopify and create a Raspberry Pi version for Ubuntu Bridge Budgie image. Sorry about that. Get edit text, edit highlight for current line turned off. Dark themes are broken with get it and often the text color cannot be read. So that's something they're definitely working on. New option align grid. When you right click the desktop, this switches on the desktop grid mode. Note there will be a custom right click menu available when you choose a line to grid and this can be used to customize the grid including turning off and on the icon auto arrangement so I guess that's for your desktop icons that's awesome uh, let's go look at see what we got here as opposed to genome where you click open and it brings all that we got okay we've got additional drivers just like we do with Ubuntu well, of course we're going to have it with Ubuntu because this is Ubuntu Budgie. Uh, Solitaire, Archive Manager, Budgie Desktop Settings. Let's look what we got here. We got widgets, icons, cursors, notification position. We can do top right. Where else can we put it? Bottom left, bottom right. So you can adjust where you're going to see your your notifications. Dark theme. Turn on. Oh, there we go. Turn that back on desktop and you can even go over here and turn your animations off if you want to if you've got a lower spec computer and you want it to be a little bit quicker you can do that desktop number of virtual desktops desktop icons so if I click on that yep install Ubuntu disappears great or we can add a home directory take it off okay that's that's awesome uh, fonts we can adjust our fonts to where we want allow raising volume above a hundred percent enable display of week numbers and calendars so it's just this is just Raven calendar, okay? Window controls, top panel, what we can do with our pan Oh, we can add and subtract applets on the top panel. That's great, that's awesome. And then auto start, no description, and then plank, of course, is what's down here. 
Okay, so we adjust and definitely, you want to definitely pay attention. Let me see, let me go back. Sorry, I skipped over that. Auto start, as you start using this system, this will start filling up sometimes with programs that will auto start. If your computer starts getting a little slow or getting a little sluggish, you can go in here and the things that don't need to be starting up at start, you can just remove out of there and you'll see a definite performance increase. Budgie Discourse. Budgie Extras. What are Budgie's Extras? Takes me to the web. Okay. So you can get more things right here. Application menu. You can download. This is great. This is something you'll definitely want to look at when you get in. It's just widgets and things that you can add to uh, the operating system in and of itself. So that's definitely something you'll want to take a peek at. Let's close those. Let's go back over here. Budgie themes and layouts. If I remember correctly, this is a lot. Yeah. Uh, you can do desktop layout switch appearance so you can go in here and basically download themes and desktop layouts so you can pretty much customize it to the way you want it and I mean that's what Linux is free to be free freedom so alright calculator of course calendar or is that calendar pop up yep it's beautiful this is definitely a, a very beautiful distribution. Catfish, search the file system. So this is kind of like highlight. Okay, so you can just type home. Okay, you can search for files right there. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'll have to play around with that a little bit. Celluloid to play videos. Cheese, of course, is for cams and webcams. Disk, disk using usage analyzer, document scanner, document viewer drawing program Geary mail this comes with Geary as opposed to Thunderbird I like Geary uh, it's not real feature packed but it's definitely smooth yeah I mean I think that's what they're using in evolution or uh, elementary so they're just going with something that's a little bit more slick and good looking Firefox uh, file extensions or your file browser I like that color combination kind of gives you an apple type feel with the white background and the the blue folders <clears throat> gparted partition gthumb image viewer ibus install language and support libreoffice calc it's got all the libreoffice let's see i do believe that would be 7.0.2.2 but i'm going to double check here okay let's see about yes 7.0.2.2 Let's see what else we got. That's Rider, Live Patch, Login Window, Logs, Mahjong, Mines, Maps. We got Plank, which is our dock down here. Plank preferences, you can change that. Let's see. Alignment's a center, most definitely. Do we want to go bigger icon size? So you can make the icons bigger. So, yeah. Let's close that out. Okay screenshot power statistics transmission is your torrent okay so I mean all in all uh, a quick look a decent little look at Ubuntu budgie uh, let's see what we got down here software okay there's the software center this is definitely a good looking distribution Let's go with something a little bit. Let's go with that. Uh, it's very, very smooth. I mean, for being in a virtual box, it's really snappy. It's really quick. Um, let's look at Firefox opens right up. I'm very impressed, y'all. Um, I just did Ubuntu uh, Genome, the 20.10 Groovy Gorilla. This is the budgie version of it. Um, real crisp desktop real clean um, I think it's actually easier to get around in this desktop as opposed to the genome version um, but if you're looking to get away from Windows and wanting to get into Ubuntu I would definitely give Budgie a shot um, thank you for watching today this has been Mainstream Linux 
Uh, if you would, please like and subscribe. Turn that notifications on so when we got another video pop up, you know about it. Thank you for watching.